right students let's come back and solve question number 20 of your ncrt right so here in this question let's read the question first what did they give us they've given us the equilibrium constant for a reaction okay um, now well, reaction is 10 what will be the value of delta g naught and r value is given t value is also given right. let's see so here i should calculate the equilibrium constant okay what is the formula which we have learned we have learned according to this the formula is delta g naught at standard equilibrium at constant value this one is equal to 2.303 rt log kc so what we have started because the equilibrium constant this is the equilibrium constant well let's substitute delta g naught is how much now to minus 2.303 into r value they've given here 8.314 joule kelvin inverse mole inverse into t value that already given 300 k 3 300 k into log 10 why because whenever you multiply with 2.303 we take it in the base 10 so since log 10 is how much log 10 is nothing but 1 so when i multiply this i get an answer of minus um, 5744.14 joule mole inverse that's it. this is your answer let's come back and do question number 21 Right. Welcome students um, to one more session of your NCRT numericals. Let's see. So here in question number 21, I think we have almost one or two left. Then I'll be starting with your Bahadur chemistry numericals. Right. So comment on the thermodynamic stability of NO. There's this gaseous state. So they've given the reaction here. This is all 1 by 2 N2, 1 by 2 O2, giving me this. Then the, the standard enthalpy of the reaction value is given. There's one more reaction given here for that also standard enthalpy value. This is nothing but H naught. Don't take it as zero. This is H naught. This is the value. Right. Now, <clears throat> what should I do? I need to comment only. So first of all, I I have to write. Okay. In this particular thing, you know whatever is there. This we need to comment about the stability of NO, isn't it? So start your explanation from here. From NO, from where is it formed? It has formed from this NO is uh, formed. It is because of the formation of NO. This is it, it, it. We have got this NO from N2 and O2. But what is happening? This is formed, or during this formation, the the reaction is endothermic in nature. So very well know NO gas is unstable because the reaction is endothermic energy is absorbed. Right. So here, when I take the formation of NO2. Here the energy is released. See here, minus 74 kilojoules per mole. That is nothing but it is an exothermic reaction. So when I speak, now when I see this endothermic and exothermic reaction, simple endothermic reaction. Whenever something is formed from the endothermic reaction, or when the energy is absorbed, a lot of entropy or disorderness in the reaction. Right. So exothermic reaction, it is not so much. So remember, NO gas formation is unstable that's why it gets converted to NO2 gas so how should you write your answer you should write NO gas is unstable why because the formation is endothermic right so NO2 gas is stable right the formation here is exothermic so th this is more disorderness this is less so what should you say therefore no gas converts into stable no2 gas that's it this is how you want to write Last, next come back and do 6.22 question. What do you give me? Calculate the entropy change in the surroundings when one uh, mole of water is formed under standard conditions. So, what should I calculate? I need to calculate entropy change. Right. So, let's write the solution. 
what should I calculate? I need to calculate delta S is how much. Right? Fine. So, uh, one mole is given, delta H formation is given, let's do. So, when such question is given to you, first try to write the equation which is given to you. Means here they have not given it, but let us write from the data which is given. They said calculate the enthalpy or change in surroundings when one mole of water is formed under standard conditions. How do we get this water? When hydrogen gaseous combines with oxygen gaseous, yes, water molecule, this is liquid. Now hydrogen is too balanced, oxygen is only half, so let us write half. Fine, so uh, how much is the delta H formation value is? Delta H formation is nothing but minus 286 kilojoules per mole. Right? Yes. So, <coughs> next important thing. They said it is minus. So, that means heat is evolved in above reaction. Isn't it? This reaction. This particular above reaction, the heat is evolved. Heat is evolved in the... Uh, evolved means released. It is released in the above reaction. And what will happen? Once this is released in the system, the surroundings are going to absorb this. That means... Q surroundings is positive. That is 286 positive. 286 kilojoules per mole. So, what is according to the formula? Delta S is equal to Q surrounding by T. So, how much is Q surrounding plus 286 kilojoules per mole? How much is T value? It is uh, like uh, standard temperature that is 298 Kelvin. How much do I get here? When I solve delta S value, I get equal to 0 0.9597 kilojoule Kelvin because this goes above. This becomes Kelvin inverse, mole inverse. Further, I can write this as, I can write it as delta S is equal to 595. I am shifting the decimal, 595.7. Joule Kelvin inverse mole inverse. How I did I write this? See here, I'll tell you. So shift the decimal. So that kilo kilo will go out. Left with J Kelvin inverse mole inverse. So this is one more answer. Hope students you're clear with the concept. Let's come back and do the next question. That is almost your last question. I think uh, if this is the last question. So, I will be meeting you. I am ready with the Bahadur Chemistry Numericals also. I will be doing the Bahadur Chemistry Numericals. Let's meet again with the next series.